Discover NAB Show, the ultimate destination for media, entertainment and technology professionals. Explore innovation and connect with industry leaders right here in Las Vegas. So Gordon, here we are, day one of NAB 2025. Are you excited for the show? Yes, so far so good. We actually had visitors before the show opened, so that was a good sign of things to come, so yes. That's a great start. So talk to me about Studio Technologies and how you're positioned in the broadcast and media industry. We have worked with broadcasters for probably 30 years, and our product line continues to evolve, really in response to what what people want and it's very common for people to say we we listen to our customers but I can say every month we're in communications with one customer or another now more international than ever about their needs for what they're doing and if we either have a product that meets their needs or can do a modification or a new product that's really what drives us sometimes we'll come up with a product that is strictly our own thought and we'll see if the industry wants it, but usually it's a variation on a theme or something that they want to do with new technology. Um, I've been in the business a long time and I don't live in the past, but what is fun is many of the actions that people want to take in the field have been going on for many years, but the technology has changed, but they want to do the same thing. So I've seen it done in analog and digital now networked, and it's fun to, to see the evolution. It is fun to see the evolution with technology, as you know, it moves so fast. On that note, what trends are you seeing unfolding in the industry and what are you doing to meet those trends? Well, about six, eight years ago, we adopted Dante as our audio over Ethernet method. And we licensed, we were an early, relatively early licensee of Dante. We think it's very, very good. Broadcasters have been shifting somewhat from analog to the ST2110 standard, which is, I don't want to say it's similar to Dante if, if your listeners are uh, experienced with both, they'll say, oh, they're really different. Okay, they're different, but they both use standard Ethernet networks. So um, we have been addressing some of our products to support ST2110 and also the redundant streams portion. I'm getting a little techy here, but ST2110 2022-7 we're also supporting. So we're watching the transition of broadcasters from um, closed systems of digital that manufacturers offered to a standards-based uh, method of interconnection. And we're supporting that too. Gordon, tell us about the products that you're showcasing here this year at NAB 2025. Sure. I'll tell you first about a product that, this is an announcer console that supports 20 uh, 2110 directly, and it's part of a three uh, product family. This is sort of working, not fully working, but later this summer it'll be ready to go. I guess I'm, I'm not supposed to say that, but we're big on reality. And um, this has one talk and, uh, I'm sorry, one main channel and six talkback channels, and it supports a primary, a secondary, and a management ST2110. Again, what this is designed for is to fit into people's workflows so the people who have trucks or fixed facilities that have 2110 you don't need converters it'll it'll directly work into that then on the the area that I tend to to like picking somewhat esoteric areas and this is uh, the model 201 interpreter console and in interpretation where someone listens to one language and speaks in another is a very kind of tweaky area and I spent about a year and a half kind of exploring what it takes and then we came up with this product very small but we think it has all the features that people need to have a single or a multi-position interpreter area so some of your listeners will say I don't deal with that that's fine but if you deal with that go look at the user guide for this on our website it's very interesting because I think we cover all the present needs and then some and we support Dante with this These are two prototype units that will be ready at the end of the summer. This does general purpose input and general purpose output over Dante. And it's nice because it adds to our collection of Dante supporting products, of which we have 20 some now, that people can add these in to be able to do general purpose input 
conversion to Dante, going over your network. Um, it's funny, this is not an exciting area except one guy was here this morning and his eyes were rolling, oh, I have to use this, it's so cool. So it all depends on if it's something you need. It's really interesting if you don't, you know, but that's kind of what we're about, very specific products. And the last one we're showing is our StudioCom 4 Dante product. And this allows an electronics unit to be mounted in a rack. You can have Dante and analog coming in. And then the user control surface is this, and it allows you to select sources and set the level. This is a companion product, which is just for level. And we'll have later this summer or, or in the fall uh, an ST2110 version of this. So Gordon, talk to me about the future of studio technologies. Well, we're product people and we're going to continue to come out with solutions for actual applications. We have a roadmap that'll keep us busy for another two years or so. So I'm not going to retire anytime soon and uh, have lots of things to, to work on. And usually we'll leave a show like NAB with one or two or three more product ideas and, and it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And so I think you're going to continue to see nice um, new products that fit specific applications from us. Very exciting times. Thank you so much, Gordon. I'm wishing you a brilliant show here at NAB. Thank you very much.